Good evening. <laughs> I was just turning on my lights there. Welcome to John's Veranda. It's just myself this evening for the, for the moment. I see that Sophie was here. Hopefully she's going to come and join me. Um, it's Saturday night. If you've made this far in the week, well done you. Um, yeah, what's been happening this week? Um, yesterday. Hello Richard, how are you doing? Good evening. Good evening Janova, how are you doing? Yeah, um, yesterday we were playing in Farland at Ofeston and it was a great, great, um, it was a great gig. But starting off with a wee bit of drama, there was a, um, a huge kind of storm came blowing and we ended up with this damn hurricane came blowing through the place. So uh, we waited, everything came crashing down. At one point I thought the tent was going to blow away. <laughs> So that was very exciting. We played here at National Day in Gangneuf. That was very good as well. How's your week going and what are you doing with your Saturday night? As Sophie's not here yet, I don't know what the set list she's got in store for me. But I thought we'd start off, well, I'd start off with something because I was reading a friend's um, page last night. And um, one of the comments on it was something... The musicians shouldn't actually say anything political about that. And another guy wrote, well, that they should actually ban all protest songs. And I thought, wow, they've got a bit of a point there, you know. Good evening, Maggie, how are you doing? Welcome to John's Veranda. And congratulations for making it this far through the week. Yeah, so, we were talking about this. Protest songs should be banned. Why should musicians talk about anything being political? What? Well, absolute tosh. I thought, so I'll start this evening's veranda with a song Written by a guy by the name of Robert Zimmer, and you probably know him better by the name of Bob Dylan. That's a song called All Along the Watchtower. I used to watch this played by one of my heroes, a guy called Michael Hedges, who is a fantastic guitar player. Of course, Bob Dylan will always be the actual standard by the song goes by. And Jimi Hendrix as well. Good evening, welcome to John's Veranda. This is All Along the Watchtower. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, how can we start this off, man? Everybody looking good, everybody feeling good.
Good evening, we're off on the go. Ah, good evening, Sophie, you are with us. That was my starting for the evening. Hi everyone. How's it going? David Lumber, I see you. I saw our Gaddy's in there. Good evening, Mr. Hillard, sir. How are you doing? Hello there. Who's you know, here? It's I think it's such a good idea. Hark, it's Sophie. It's such a good that I'm not here sometimes because John plays so much good stuff that we, you know, he just comes up with these things we haven't played for a long time, so... Thank you, John. I blev det bra att inte jag är här för att då får John spela annars annat som inte har spelat på länge. Tack, John. Det var helt suveränt. Så gud, vad sånär. I was relaying the story of how it was yesterday with the Chambouli, the weather, the tornado in Fallon. We're waiting to go on a big stage. And lo and behold, this tornado blows through the place. The last one of the things that the last thing viewers going to have is Sophie was holding on to a tent, trying to hold it back. As if holding on to a tent on a full blast of wind, I was expecting to see her taking to the sky. I was like, let go of that tent, you crazy lady. Yeah, I mean, what happened was we were like waiting. Hi, everyone. Hi, Gary. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. David. <laughs> uh, hey, Anuva. Richard, Michael, Anders, Rickard. Cool, that you here. Uh, jo, så här var det. Uh, there was a storm yesterday. We were waiting to go on stage and we were just going to go out with our stuff and I heard people screaming in panic in front of the stage. Panic? Um, yeah, like real panic. And then suddenly there was this gust of wind. It's like being hit by a train. Jag hörde folk som skrek och sen plötsligt så var det som att man blev träffad av tåget. Bara shh, värsta vind. Och liksom hela scenen höll på att blåsa en kull. The stage almost fell over. And the mixing desk fell on the floor. Mixerbordet fell i marken. Uh, och uh, the whole backstage area was just wiped out and we were trying to hold down the tent. Miss Sophie, she's on an uh, alcohol-free so ship full of IPA this evening. Ja, yeah, alltså backstage rådet flög om kull och uh, vi höll i tälten och skulle hålla i dem och liksom man blåste nästan med tält. You almost blew Jimmy up Joe with for John. tent. It was really scary. Uh, traumatic. Skål. Cheers everyone. Cheers everyone. But we live to tell the tale. So we are here today to do a couple of songs for you. How are you, all of you? Can you... Hey, um, Ulla Britta, we send from Gagnef. We brukar vara i Sälen i normala fall. Men just nu så är vi i Gagnef hemma hos min pappa. Så att vi är nere i hans källare i Gillestugan. Things were very tense. Tense. Yeah, they were. Gary. Oh, that was That's good. Right. I was oh. so scared, actually. I was really, really scared. Are, that was very good. Hey, you know 10 out of 10. Yeah. For this time, for after 10 on a Saturday night, it was very good. <laughs> so, um, we have a little bit of a list of songs that we wanted to do today that we haven't done for a while. And uh, I'm trying to remember which ones they are. Should we do Gangnam Girls? I mean, why don't we just do Gangnam Girls straight away? I think we're going to do that. Well, John just uh, gets everything in order though. I'm just going to invite Karina to watch the veranda because she really wants to hear this. So, can I bring in Karina? I uppe i Sälen, för hon vill ha den här låten. <laughs> Ett ögonblick. Ett ögonblick. Ja. Yeah. Du, let's see, invite, 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 Karina. You've got low battery power, so, so you better plug yourself in as well here on your phone here, look. I'm going to go and plug the phone, oh, I meant, meant Sophie better do this. I better not go through net Sophie's technical, technological phone. Well, I'm going to actually have to go and get the charger. It's here. Look, I've got one in my hand. Use that one. Oh. What's wrong with the one I've got in my hand? Okay. That's what you say. Listen, sorry everyone. We're a bit unorganized today because we're so tired from yesterday and we played the day before as well. <coughs> we're a little bit tired today from the weather. We've had some, we've had some absolutely beautiful fredag. weather the last few days. It's like it's been really, really warm. In it this makes you drop. tired though. I'm so tired of the weather also. The so, warm makes you tired. Yeah. We shouldn't complain over that though, because no. I spoke to my mommy today in Balm Tour there, and she was saying it wasn't so warm with, with her. So, maybe we can play a wee bit of Gangnef Girl to warm them up. But Sophie's going to get a call in here. Um, yeah, I've, I've done it already. You have already? Honey, we already have a lot of fun in one of our favorites, namely Gangnef Girl. Better check your microphone works today. Jag tror att min mikrofon fungerar. Jag kanske ska ta upp och lyda en aning. Så. Nu ni, är vi redo? Nu kör vi. Okej. Okay. 
day, man. Have you got your dance shoes on? I played this song on the big stage in Fallen yesterday and there were a few people doing a boog, a Swedish boog dance while we were playing this, so yes. Hey Moad! Du, nu blir det repris från igår Moad. Barefooted in lost pets. Wow, is that where you are Gary? And are you barefooted? Can you dance barefooted I wonder? Give it a try. Moad, nu blir det repris från igår. Hello again Moad, how are you doing? Barefooted. Hope we Song. We had Rebecca on stage with last night. He appears in the video for Gangnef Girl. Ah, um, yes, and uh, I was. Um, we've been singing that song Thursday, Friday together with Rebecca, who's in the video. She's a girl with the long dark hair in the video, and she's been singing the lead vocals, and I've been doing the harmony vocals. So I got a bit mixed up there. But um, hey, Anita, jag har sjungit stämma på den här låten hela den här helgen, så. Nu blev det lite förvirrat att sjunga lead, men det gick bra ändå. Lost Pets is a typo. Okej. Okay. Hmm. I'm really glad that you're tapping your feet, Gaddy. Anita, vad gör du ikväll? All of you, let us know what you're doing, because we're always wondering what you're all doing on a Saturday night, you know. We're just here playing our instruments and singing, as usual. It was really great yesterday. It was one of the things, I don't even notice some of the pictures that we actually put up on Facebook. Yeah. But um, Sophie went away early yesterday. 
to the beauty salon and came back looking like a supermodel. It was fantastic. Nej, tack så mycket Frida. Fridas hår och makeup studio i Gagnef. Hon är helt fantastisk. There you go ladies. I would go along myself too. <laughs> But Frida is not a miracle worker. I see. I think I would have gone there. No, she's a miracle yeah, worker. That's true. But I need. I think I need to go to the church for the type <laughs> of miracle to make me look beautiful. That's what I need. I need something kind of higher power than the makeup studio. <laughs> If it's not, it's not makeup. It's either a spiritually higher power or a paper bag to actually spare people's. You know, the horror for people looking uh, in. John, don't despair. Don't despair. No, I should never give up. No, no. But there you go. But it was beautiful when she came back. She looked absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And I was, yeah. It was jättegud, it. Also, it takes a long time. It took about four hours. That's how long it took. But it took me about four months to really put scaffolding up and did a full-on rec rec recreation job. Uh, a soul makeover. That's what we need. That's even better. Oh yes, Gary, I'm so glad you're asking uh, because I was gonna tell I was gonna tell you what happened. I'm so sorry about the video yesterday. So listen to the camera and when we filmed it live from scene in Falun. That's what was happened. Uh, was that it was a storm. Yes, it was a storm. So we had set everything up to start doing this thing on stage when the storm came in and the whole camera stand was knocked over and the holder at the top of the camera stand came off it, it knocked it was knocked in the ground and so camera stativet gick sönder när den här stormen drog in igår på festen precis när vi skulle börja spela så att vi jag, jag tejpade telefonen på stativet jag hade tape the phone to the uh, stand and it just kind of slid in the holder on the tape until it just fell off so i'm so sorry about that and we were like oh no it would have been so nice to have that film but det var synd, vi fick inte med en ordentlig film, men... Vi har en film, vi har en film. Vi har en film från framifrån, vi har en film från... Thanks to Alice the Sillers, thank you. Vi har en film från framifrån. Du har en film från framifrån, så vi kan upload den. Ooh, vad synd, ja nog, det regnar här också. Uselt väder, men varmt och hot, liksom. The other song we were gonna do... It's a surprise on me. I'm gonna find out for myself just now. So did I tell you we're unorganized today? I thought we need to organize it all. But we don't know what we're gonna play at all. Can't you offer us something? And nothing too all for the energist. For we're a little bit tired. Nothing too energetic, please, because we're quite tired. But please let us know what you want us to play. What haven't you heard for a while? What could we do? Not something to play at all. Inget. Utmana oss och kiss. Skriv någonting som vi vill höra. Okay, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Anything you'd like to hear? How about Leaving Carolina? I haven't played that for a while. We've had to play like Leaving Let's Carolina for yet a long We haven't played for Leaving fun. Carolina for a long time. Let's just do that. For our good friends out there in Facebook Landio. Dylan, some more about Dylan. While you're all thinking and typing for some requests, we'll do Leaving Carolina. I'll put my guitar in tune first of all. It's had a real, a real hammering in the heat of the guitar. You know, the acoustic instruments take a real hammering. It's good, a good test for an acoustic instrument. Okay, see what John can come up with. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready when you are, man.
get stuck on the pillow Cause I know it's time to go As daylight falls in Charleston My mood is all slow And I'm walking down the garden When you look back to close the gate One last run in the Chevy I do would not like to divulge the actual date because that might be giving you. <laughs> <laughs> might be giving away. Honey. It was a little while ago. <laughs> it was a wee while ago, Gary. It was a beautiful time to be in Carolina, of course, of course, because it was pre any of the mobile phones and any real technology going on. In fact, the mobile phones that I saw while I was there, you would probably need to carry around with a wheelbarrow. It was that, you know, they, it was, you'd be as well just, you'd just be as well putting a telephone booth on a, on a set of wheels, really, and just walking around with that, you know. But, um, yeah, it was before that time, so it's quite a beautiful time to actually be there, you know, down in the South Carolina. Very, very lovely. Had a great time. And, you know, what can I say? I mean, it's just absolutely so beautiful. If you ever get a chance to, to actually go there. Is that Val? Good evening, Val. Good evening. Hi, Val. Um, if you get a chance to go there, please do. It's absolutely gorgeous, lovely, lovely, lovely place. Yeah, so, so John berättade att han var ju i, 
Charleston. South, South Carolina. South Carolina. South Carolina. Of course, we've been to North Carolina together. Obviously, but we are going to South Carolina. My mom and dad didn't even check for this. It was a little scary. I'm just gonna see. There's a lot of comments. So, so lovely that you're early 70s. That's when it was scary. Yes. Scary. Shame on you. That was not that long ago. It certainly was not. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much, Anita. It was cool that you. Hello, Bob. I have a request from John. When we did the gig on Thursday uh, for National Day, we did an Irish song in Dadgad. Could we do some Dadgad? Yeah, why do we? Uh, why do we do the Nightwish like song? Because for igår så hade vi inte tid att göra den här låten när vi var i Falun för vi hade bara en halv timme. We only had half an hour. Hey, I know. Hey, how are you today? Hope it's going well in Falun. We're going to sit up with you next. We didn't have time to do this Irish song when we played the gig in Falun yesterday, so I'm just going to see if we can do it just now. It's it's a wonderful Irish song sung by Paul Brady among others, and it's called the Night Visit Song, and it's very groovy. Gary, I know what you mean. That brick, heavy. Then hello, then. Call us the Night Visit Song, the Brand the Knock Song. This song sometimes is called the Night Visit Song, sometimes the Knock Song, <coughs> but it's a really great one, and we usually put a tune in, in the middle that is called Drowsy Maggie. It's not called Drowsy Maggie. It's Maggie. not Drowsy Maggie at all. It's called Julie Delaney. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, lots of people. I hope you're not going to play Drowsy Maggie. Like, you could play Drowsy Maggie if you like. Yeah, honey. Vi kanske kan göra lite reklam, Aino. Hörrni, allihop, den 9 augusti i Gagnets kyrka, Aino som kollar just nu, hon är med i en duo som heter Fjäril och de kommer att spela i Gagnets kyrka. Gå dit och titta, det kommer bli skitbra. Hoppas att vi ses där allihop. Gå och titta på Aino. Tack så mycket! Vi ses där, Aino! Ja! Så här kommer den alltså, The Night Visit Song.
a bit of energy. That took some energy. <laughs> Takes a wee bit of energy on a Saturday night. Thank so much. I know we see us you. Yes, Gary. What a good song, isn't it? That got the blood flowing anyway. Yeah, I love that song. Um, I might have to post a link for Paul Brady doing it as well if you haven't heard it. It's really great. Should we do something? Highway. Ah, okay, we can do that. Honey, sure. because if we turn on a night, we don't have to play so long, so we haven't played Western Highway for yet long. We haven't played Western Highway in a long time, and it's in Dadgad, in the tuning that John's got, so... Yeah, let's do it. 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 We haven't played the song for so long that John can't even remember what key it is. We haven't played the song for so long that John can't even remember what key it is. John can't remember his name sometimes, some days. I mean, it's not surprising. Thank you so much. I know. So are you. Can't wait to see you. Thanks so much, John Ove. Now let's see. Kenneth, you asked him. You asked him. Now let's see. What was it? You wrote here earlier, Kenneth. Kenneth, you wrote something earlier. Practice anymore on Canto Down. Do you know what, Kenneth? We ran out of time. We were going to do like do that song yesterday in the gig and we ran out of time. We didn't have time to prepare it. So, they stop the list down. Stop the list down. We didn't have time to do Star of the Canto Down yesterday, so we have to practice that for the future. But it will come. John, do you have any more Dylan songs? You've got your, the blues, what they call them, subterranean. Oh, blues, God, yeah, that. all right. Uh, but you have to get me a harmonica or something. Uh, give me a harmonica. And a... We might have to wait with Dylan to next week. No, no, I can manage to do it. I'll yeah, tell you what, you, you hold the guitar, yeah, if you hold the guitar once I finish this, I'll okay. go and... Might have some pick, Dylan coming up. Let's see if you can figure something out there. Do you want to do your plans again before? Why not? John will do his original guitar tune before this song, and it's called From Glen to Glen.
sure if my battery charger is working. I might have been buying some substandard equipment. What's that? Um, yeah, that was um, a song written by the very talented Mr. Jerry O'Byrne, who plays with one of, or played with one of my great idols, a Scottish songwriter by the name of Andy M. Stewart, Andy M. Stewart who played with the band Silly Wizard. Fabulous. Um, passed away very, very sadly. Rest in peace, Andy. Um, Incredible songwriter, um, both Andy M. Stewart and Jerry O'Byrne. And we spoke to Jerry before recording this. This is on our album, Western Highways. You can go into Spotify and check that out and, um, and listen to that. Um, what I was going to do is, because the guys were asking if I can play another Dylan song, right? Uh, well, Sophie has just gone to run and get a battery charger. I'll see if I can get my head around the words for another Dylan song. Um, how you, how's your guys' weekend going out there? Everybody doing all right? 
So glad of your company as always here on the veranda. It's always good to get catch up with what's going on. We're all over the place here. We're, we're in we're in Norway. We're in we're in the U.S. We're in all over the place. Here's Sophie. She's managed to get a charger. Good, good yeah, one. Yeah, I'm gonna yourself. see if this one works instead. I'll see if I can find myself a, a moothy. It's not easy nowadays, is it? There's so much technical stuff to try and keep on top of. I mean, as a dog and technique, if you try to hang a mail, or all ska funka, this one isn't working either. Maybe it's the thing's not plugged in right. Check the plug is. Can can we also add an inter e coupler? They almost a coupler. Definitely in. When we were going to play yesterday, we had like 20 minutes to get ready to go on stage, and um, my tuner malfunctioned. <laughs> and I tried two different batteries, none worked. Then I tried my old, just like battery uh, tuner, that didn't work either. And then I was going to try and use my wireless new thing on the fiddle, that didn't work. And it's <laughs> God. Ingenting fungerade igår, tre stä två batterier i stämmaapparaten funkar inte, min gamla stämmaapparat funkar inte heller och sen funkar inte den trådlösa grejen på min fjol och sen kollapsade kameran också på kamerastativet så det var svårt igår. And then of course the camera fell over as well so nothing worked yesterday. And I don't know if this uh, charger is working. If we disappear it's because we ran out of battery. För svinner vi så är det för att vi har tappat batteri power alltså. Hoppas att det funkar. Um, John is looking for um, um, a mousy. Um, John letar like efter en um, mousy. Mousy en munspel. <laughs> Do you not say mousy, John? No. No. No, sorry. It's a harmonica he's looking for. Uh, I, I think that's a D, right? Some, um, I think, does that say D to you? Yeah, this story D. Can yeah. ask, should I play you a tune while he's doing that? Well, he should play a tune, why not? Do you know, I'll play you a Swedish uh, tune. We're coming up to midsummer. Do you start midsummer? Ska vi ta den här låten då? The songs worked great. Um, yeah, the songs were. I mean, the equipment didn't work, but the songs worked. So fortunately, so this is the new equipment. John has and I have both bought some new equipment. We have bought a little new utrustning, much billier than we thought it was. We thought these kind of things were really expensive, so we just haven't bought them before. And then we started looking, and they're not very expensive at all. You get one of these. Uh, this is a wireless transmitter, and you have a, exactly the same one, a receiver over by the amp, and voila, no cables. Inga kablar, inga sladdar att snubbla över, utan man sätter i den här, och så är det en likadan som sitter borta vid förstärkaren, 
Och så bara skicka den signalen och det var mycket billigare än vi trodde. Vi har inte ens vågat titta för att vi trodde att det var jättedyrt. Men eh, så fick vi reda på att det var inte alls så dyrt. Så, nu har vi såna här. It works today. Idag funkar den. Det funkade inte igår. Didn't work yesterday, but fortunately works today. You're gonna get some Dylan now. Maud and Gary, you requested some Bob Dylan. This is for you. Oh my. Oh my. one maybe you might know, uh, it goes, uh, it's a song by the name of Subterranean Homesick Blues, if I can remember all the words to it. Let's give it a go, this is for Maud and for Gary. Down the alleyway, looking for a new friend. Not in a coonskin cap, a big pair of 
sub today in homesick blues. I was there, I'm chasing around, I think the bolt has gone on my actual harmonica chase, I'm chasing around, you can see me going like this, you know. I'm looking like Frankenstein trying to chase around the harmonica. <laughs> The song that we should do actually, Abdullah, you know the one. So take heed, take heed of the western winds. I can't sing the melody because he's playing something else. I'll just blame him. Sorry. Yeah, you know, it's Boots of Spanish Leather. Oh, that's, that's a such song. a good one. I used to do that one, when you, and we haven't done it together. Maybe we should practice that one. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll try and practice that one because it's beautiful. Uh, you're not over. Say. Ja, nej, 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 nu, vi, nej, nu förstår jag Janove. Ja, det var ju den som Jon spelade hos dig. Yes, you played okay. that Janove. I did indeed, yes, that, that is true. That is correct. The subterranean homesick blues. I'm sailing away, my high on true love. I'm sailing away in the morning. Oh, I love that song. Is there something I can send you? From across the sea. From the place that I'll be landing. Oh, det är så vackert låt. Such a beautiful song. Take heed, take heed of the western wind. Take heed of stormy weather. And yes, there's something you can send back to me. Spanish boots of Spanish leather. Lovely. I love it, Gary. I mean, those words, yeah, he deserved a Nobel Prize for those words, for sure. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Gary, John has just thought of another song, we did another Dylan song, but this is a long time ago. Have you heard the one called Dink's song? Fairly well? Yeah, he deserved it. And this one is really beautiful as well. I don't know if you can remember, it's in D, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Eh? Uh, See if we can remember it.
was Dink's song or Fairly Well. What a good song. That's also Bob Dylan, yeah. Anyone heard that one before? It's in a... Um, it's a great song, isn't it, Gary? It's in that... Pack oh, Maud. Maud loves it. Yes. It's, in the, it then, it's in the film called... What is the... Um, Llewellyn... Um, Llewellyn something... Um, Llewellyn Davis? Llewellyn Davis, yeah, something like that. It's in the film, anyway. In the future, there is no good song. I have never dreamed about I have dreamed that it was free on the earth, and all the war was slut. I don't know what you Reste sig och sa Det finns inga soldater mer Det finns inga hajevär Och ingen känner längre till Ditt ordet militär Och folk runt på gatorna Och drog från krog till krog och skrattade om da 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 Och alla krig var slut Jag tror inte att den slutar så men Och Mård var bra att du sjunger med, hur gick sista raden? Hur gick det nu än? Kan inte du påminna mig? Um... Drog från krog till krog Och alla drack varandra till Och skrattade det är och log. Så måste det vara, eller hur? <laughs> Vad är goda idé, Janove. Vilken bra idé. Och jag älskar den låten. Vilken fin, fantastisk låt. Mård, vi sjunger den tillsammans nästa gång du och jag. Hello Anna, how are you doing? Nice to see you on here. Scott McCloud says, life finns inga soldater mer. Åh, oh, tänk om det var sant, Mård. Tänk om det inte bara var en dröm. Åh. Oh. Uh, Scott McLeod says, life and times of Llewellyn, yes. Could that's that be... the one, Scott. Well done, Yeah, man. that's the one, Scott. Good film. Tack, Janove. Bra idé. Oh, yes, this is a good one as well. Hey, Roland. Roland, you're just in time. Oh, awesome. 
sung by the great, the, the, great, the late, great John Lennon, God bless his heart and God rest his soul. I remember first hearing that song actually, it, just, um, it really did knock me sideways the first time I heard it. I think when I heard it first of all, I didn't even know what working class hero would have meant, would have meant or anything like that. I just know it was a very powerful song, that was my, in, that was my memory of it anyway. Anyhow, it's Saturday night. I hope you're having a good time wherever you are. I hope the weather has been beautiful and even if it isn't, you're in somewhere nice and warm and cuddly and fluffy and whatever. <laughs> if not, I hope you're slipping into something beautiful, like slow, drunken, unconscious, conscious, consciousness. We'll go through that you three times or that. if that's your thing. It's not my thing anymore, but you know, whatever floats your boat, you boat. <laughs> it's a great pleasure and thank you for sharing your, uh, sharing your company with us. And now a humble little veranda. We're having a bit of fun here this evening, and I hope you're enjoying yourselves. So, um, what's it to be, Miss Sophie? Hey, Domoad. Vad kul att du tittar. Kenneth, um, Roland, du, det gick jättebra på festen förutom att det var en storm. Men det kom en stormvind som slet sönder hela scenen precis när vi skulle spela. Och de hade ett jättefint backstage rum med en stor så här frys full med massa goda drycker och chips och godis och allt. Och stormen bara blåste omkull alltihop. Vi försökte hålla ner tältet, det var kaos. Så vi blev försenade och mixerbordet föll i golvet och det var kaos. Det var kaos vi var ganska rädda också faktiskt för det var otäckt. Men när det var klart, då gick det bra. Vi spelade våra halvtimme och gjorde ett extra nummer också, det var kul. Yes, John Lennon. Perfect day in Iowa. I'm so happy <laughs> that you're having a perfect day. John, what do you think about... We're going to do a couple of more songs. Um, we are actually going to finish off uh, with... Um, take my drinking and nervous breakdown. Oh yeah, why not? We had an idea that we would finish the evening today with Take me out drinking of nervous breakdown. Hey, Royne, how are you with you? How are you with you? <laughs> the storm sounds even worse in Swedish. Yeah, maybe that will start just describing how horrific it was. It was awful. It was like it was like seeing all those storms. You know all those storms that you have in the US, Gary. You you have really bad hurricanes over there, don't you? And and we like we just don't really have that here in Sweden. And I just thought, my gosh, this is like in the US when you see people like trying to stand up in the wind and I'll tell you how good it was though. Sophie, Sophie had her out. hair, she had her hair done yesterday. It didn't even blow her hair out of place. Good hairspray. Pretty great. She looked like a supermodel yesterday. I looked like a it's wee troll, a wee, a wee sort of Scottish kind of um, midget. A wee leprechaun beside her. You're a cute leprechaun. A cute leprechaun. I look like the I look like that guy from what was he called Lord of the Rings? What's he called again? Yeah. Gollum. <laughs> no, not Gollum. No, no Gollum. Oh, no, the wee guy Gollum. with the beard. What's he called? The mad Scottish bastard. What's he called? Oh, yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> There's 20 know. million men. Who cares? Let's go again. Come on, let's go. We're gonna get slaughtered. Brilliant. Bring it on. <laughs> no, I've got my axe. I've got my. I've got a spare axe in my back pocket. Bring another million. Not a problem. <laughs> John McDonald says, poor wee hobbit. <laughs> well, since you went to the beauty parlor, I was saying like, you know, if I was going to go to the beauty parlor, they, they, they say, there's nothing we can do for me here, mate. You need a miracle. Maybe keep going to the church or something. No, don't despair, John. It's, you're you're going to, you're going to, you're great. So Iowa is that tornado land, Gary. I feel sorry for you. If you have winds like we had yesterday, if you have them on a regular basis, I feel so sorry for you. I was reading further down south in Sweden, there were a couple of farms that had their roofs torn off and maybe that happens, I mean we see that on TV here, but that happens over in the US often, you know, so scary, scary stuff. John has retuned his guitar to Nashville G-Tuning and we're going to do the last couple of songs for tonight. Thank you so much for watching all of you. Two more songs that we haven't done in a while and that's Take Me Out Drinking Tonight and The Nervous Break. We're going to dedicate this evening to Mr. Scott McLeod, Take Me Out Drinking Tonight, which is written by a great songwriter not long ago. There's also Mr. Michael Mara. 
um, God rest him as well, and um, we're going to dedicate this to Scott. In fact, to you all, and I hope you have a great continuing weekend. How are you doing, Miss Sophie? Yeah. And actually, well, what we'll do is we'll count it to you, and we'll finish this evening with a tune straight after that. It's a banjo tune that I wrote, and we'll call the uh, Nervous Breakdown. Gary, 500 times? That sounds awful. Poor you. Yeah, yeah that's all my Ali, man. Sympathy, sympathy yeah, with you, brother. Because that was not fun yesterday. It's really scary. I hope we can cheer you up with this song, Take Me Out Drinking Tonight. Remember this as well. It's a test, right? <laughs> okay. I'm ready with you, Alan.
Now that's what you call a grand finale. Woohoo! Well done, John. <laughs> barn dancing music. I know. Have you seen the video from when we played in Scotland in a big barn at an Americana festival? Big barn. There were lots of people dancing in the barn. I'll, we started out with a take me drinking song, and then us that was especially video. dedicated to Mr. Scott McLeod tonight. Yeah. Bless you, man. Scott, that's especially for you. Scott, for you. Alistair, thank you for filming yesterday. I mean, thanks I'm a lot, Ali. We're by the way, so Bless grateful. You for that. Thank you. We're gonna upload some of those films to you. We'll share the films you later on. Thank you so much. Out there. If you want to hear any of the songs, especially the, the, the Nervous Breakdown, the banjo tune, is a, a, I do a, a YouTube video for that. The song Take Me Out Drinking is on our album on Spotify. Or you could even buy the album or download it from us as well. Just get in touch with us and ask us about it. Yeah. And, uh, and anything else, actually. You want to ask us any questions, don't be shy. If you want to know what kind of socks San Sophie wears, or, you know, what sort of toothpaste I use. <laughs> Just questions like that. It doesn't matter, really. Uh, Scott McLeod, what a nice compliment. I'm going to read that out to John. Scott, Scott is saying, John, cracking arrangement and your voice is on fire tonight, John. Some oh, passion thanks very much, one. Scott. Cheers, Do man. you know, Scott, I was just thinking now when I was sitting here listening to Working Class Hero, I thought, John is singing really well. Tonight. On fire, I would say. Yeah. Burn, <laughs> burn, <laughs> burn it's been a lovely week, though. It has been a fabulous yeah, week. No, so thanks a lot, Scott. Great. Bless you for that. Yeah. Cheers. Seriously, Alistair, thank you so much. Thank you. See you soon. And uh, Jan Ove, thank you for that you tittar. Vad glada vi blir. Vet ni, innan vi stänger av så ska of ni course. få träffa. Ni vet vem. You know who you, I'm going to let you meet, yeah? Yeah. He's got, the thing about him though, he's got, he's got a new appendage is, you know, we'll, we'll wait and see if it comes on screen. Thanks very much for, okay. for sharing your company with us. We, we really appreciate it and we appreciate you. Have a great continuing weekend. Be beautiful because you are beautiful. Who's coming? Are you going to keep his appendage on? Are you going to, are you going to take it off? I might show them. Right, here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me a great, fabulous pleasure to present <laughs> Leo the dog. <laughs> he looks a wee bit more like a satellite dish, so I've been calling him Jodrell Bank for the last couple of days. And, you know, he's, he is. Yes, he's, in, he's like a spaceman. <laughs> the, the problem is, he has this um, wound under his tummy and he keeps licking it, so I have to put this on. Neo slickar sig på magen så att det blir vi sår på magen. <laughs> Neo, your favorite sweet dog. So he dog. cannot be trusted with his Hör tongue and his back end. Bra, tack, so we need to stick a big plastic helmet on him. So he looks like Jodrell yeah. Bank now. <laughs> Isn't that right, Neo? Poor little, oh, you poor little bugger. <laughs> I know. He, han, han slickar sig på magen och han får... Can he get 5G? <laughs> I, I don't... I don't <laughs> it's pretty good, oh, I tell you, it's wide enough to get that. He has some parable he's got on there, like, this should be, I guess, this should be a Euro sport or something, Sky Sports. <laughs> we'll go out on the roof and kind of hang him up on the roof and see what we can get from it. <laughs> no, we know, look, it'll probably just be a load of bad Bulgarian porn. We'll be <laughs> <laughs> look, he's sleeping inside his, his parable. Look, he's falling asleep. You, Neo has so much nothing in the Ja, uh, oh. he's, he's just given up all yeah, hope. Så so han slickar sig och får sår på magen, så jag var tvungen att sätta på den här. So, poor, poor Neo. And he's been so neglected the last couple of days because we've been playing. So today, I, alltså, Neo har varit lite försummad de senaste två dagarna. Så idag så tänkte jag att jag skulle liksom smöra ordentligt. Så jag skaffade honom en pool i, i trädgården och han var inte ett dugg intresserad. I, made, I got him a swimming pool for the garden today and he wasn't impressed at all. He, he scarpered. He, he just did swim. one right away. He took one look at that and thought, screw that, I'm not getting in there. You can all bug it off. John had to lift him into the swimming pool and he wasn't interested. He just Nil impressed. Null, null impressed. I was going to take him for a walk just now but he seems really tired. A bit like myself I actually. Jag skulle gå med Neo men han ser hur trött ut som helst. Did you wake up now Neo? Yeah, he woke up, yeah. Oh. So everyone, what a nice evening we've had with you. Vilken himla trevlig kväll vi har haft med er. Tack så jättemycket för att ni tittar. Please share if you like the music. We'll be so grateful if you share. Kan, kan ni inte dela? Om ni gillade musiken, tryck på dela så blir vi skitglada. We're gonna, we'd be so happy if you wanted to share because it really helps us. Thank you so much everyone. Thanks a lot guys. Take care, ta hand om er, ni är bäst. You're all the best, okay? Love you lots. Hey do allihop. Bless you all. Bye everyone. Take care. Hey do.